This is so weird. I'm holding the phone the wrong way. Don't have anybody watching yet. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Desiree and I'm here doing the long-awaited bookshelf tour. I am going to be doing it live. I did talk about this in my previous live Tea With Me video that I took a couple of months back. Everybody seemed to have been on board with it and in any case, I just tried um, recording it with my camera. My camera died, and my camera also has very limited battery life, so what happened was I would get halfway through recording and then I would end up just killing my battery. It didn't work out well. I'm very sad about it. I, ugh. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Sorry. That was not a good way to start this whole thing. <laughs> Swallowing the wrong way when I haven't even had anything to drink. Anyway. Um, my battery just got killed off. It only gives me 30 minutes of time to record. I'm going to have to find a bigger battery for the kind of camera that I have. Just a small Nikon. I got it refurbished. But in any case, guys, here is the long-awaited bookshelf tour. I hope this is going to be sufficient for what you guys were looking for. Again, it's not going to be the most polished of all of the bookshelf tours that of all of the bookshelf tours that you guys have seen simply because it's live so it's going to be unedited. I'm not going to be able to edit it. And in any case, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to check out some of the comments below. At least I think I have comments. Um, what happened here? Hi everybody! <laughs> Hi Casey! Hi Melanie! Um, Jaheen, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Um, hi Jennifer, trying to keep up with everybody. The last time I did this, they had a really weird comment thing and now it's totally different than it was before and it's even more freaking confusing. Okay, so uh, this will be, of course, uploaded for anybody who wants to see and who isn't tuning in live. It's not necessary to tune in live, but I figured you guys have just waited long enough for a bookshelf tour. So live it is. It's just gonna be way too much of a hassle to do it um, as far as recording goes and editing it. My camera's just not gonna allow for it. So, are you guys ready to uh, see some of these beauties? I don't have uh, really too many books. I have uh, seen plenty of other booktubers and book bloggers who just have massive rooms, completely full wall to wall of books. I'm not quite like that, but nevertheless, they are all very, very special, very, very precious to me. And I hope you guys really enjoy this. So, without further ado, let's get into the bookish goodness, shall we? Okay. So, I'm going to spin you around here. Okay. First of all, that's my finger. Oh, look at that. My painting and my vacuum in my room. We're not going to pay attention to that. Okay. So, hopefully you guys can hear me all right. So, we're going to start at the very tippity top here. Um, oh my Facebook modification. Okay. So this is just a Scentsy warmer that my sister got me. At least I think she got it for me. Either that or I bought it for myself. But it has a quill on it. I think it's gorgeous and how fitting for a reading room is a beautiful quill pen. And then right here at the very top is an Emma Scott book. I have a very hard time picturing what it would be like, what my bookshelf would look like without an Emma Scott book on top of it. Just I'm addicted to her writing. This is a butterfly project one of my top favorite books this year. I just, oh my goodness, I can't get enough of her writing. And then I just have a couple of little knickknacks here. This is just a heart-shaped bookmark thing. Yeah, bookmark thing. I think this came in a swag pack. And then I have a calla lily necklace here. This actually belonged to my husband's grandmother, and I wanted to keep it here for, you know, um, sentimental purposes. And then we go over here, and we have the Iliad and the Odyssey by Homer, and I have Robert Fagel's translations. His are my ultimate, ultimate favorite. Um, I stole so many copies of these when I was in high school. I just left them in my backpack and never gave them back. These really kick-started my love of reading right along with um, video gaming. Just absolutely love um, mythology and Mediterranean history in particular. And then we have just a lamp right here. It's just it matches the bookshelf. There's nothing sentimental about this lamp. Got it at Target. 40 bucks. Rip off. Okay. And then I have a bracelet here by the fabulous Lauren Rowe. Absolutely adore her. We have a pen by Mia Sheridan. And I love Mia Sheridan. You guys know I love Mia Sheridan. Uh, we've got another pen by the fabulous A.L. Jackson. And then a pen by the gorgeous Lauren Rowe. 
And this is actually very, very special to me. This is a fountain pen that my husband actually made for me. Um, he carved out the wood and everything and put it together. And he knew that I always wanted a fountain pen. So he actually made one himself for me and gave this to me as a Christmas present. So this is one of my most um, precious possessions. I just, he was a oh, sweet, sweet husband. <laughs> And then here is actually a necklace of petrified lightning. It's still in the case. I don't really wear it all that often, but it's just a necklace of petrified lightning that I have uh, that was given to me in a giveaway from some of my favorite authors. I think it was the MAK group that I got it from. It just said I had bad connection. You, ugh. Okay, so hopefully you guys are hearing me okay. But um, yeah, I got this from uh, a giveaway. Okay, so we are moving on to the good stuff. And the good stuff, we're gonna start on this side of the shelf. Here, I have Rush by Emma Scott. And I'm just gonna be putting them back. I'll have to put them back afterward. And then I have How to Save a Life, All In by Emma Scott. I try to keep everybody in order. Um, Full Tilt by Emma Scott. Oh, guys, I just, I look at this book and I get emotional. It's just, oh my goodness. I mm, That book is so special to me, you guys. I think know how special um, that book is. I'm trying to see everybody's comments here. Okay. All right, moving on. Just wanna make sure I'm not missing anybody. And then we move on to this bad boy. Oh, The Hookup by Kristen Callahan. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, this is my ultimate, ultimate book. Oh my goodness, I can't get enough of Battle Baylor. I've read this book so many times, I've lost count. I stopped keeping track like five months ago. I'm just addicted to this freaking book. Kristen Callahan is a writing queen. And then I have The Friend Zone, second in the book. And then I have The Game Plan. And her most recent release in the Game On series, we have The Hot Shot. And moving on here. Now this I have to be very, very careful with. This is actually my wedding bouquet. And I have it on top of Mia Sheridan books because I love Mia Sheridan books so, so, so much. So I'm going to carefully take this off. Oh no, the ribbon is stuck. No! So yeah, this was my wedding bouquet. We're actually going to be celebrating our sixth wedding anniversary in just two weeks. October 1st is our wedding anniversary. So we're going to start with um, Preston's Honor. This was her most recent release here. Um, she has another release coming out in October. But that's actually going to be separate from the A Sign of Love series, which is really exciting. And then we have Ramsey and Midnight Lily. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have one hell of a time cleaning up after this. And then we have Grayson's Vow and Kylan. Oh, I love this book. And not just because I'm a Taurus and this book is centered around the sign Taurus, but this book is just oh, one of her best, I think. And then Finding Eden and Becoming Calder, which is the first book in the duet. Um, Becoming Calder and Finding Eden are a duet. This one is the first book. This was my gateway novel by Mia Sheridan. This book is the entire fucking reason why I'm addicted to her writing. I have no regrets because she's amazing, but it's because of that book. Archer's Voice, the fan favorite. Everybody loves Archer. Mia actually told me <laughs> that... Uh, when people would come up to her in signings, people would inadvertently sort of stroke Archer's back just because, you know, it, he really, I guess, exudes those kinds of feelings from people. But yeah, she, she would notice that people would come up to her um, with Archer and just kind of stroke his back, which I could totally see myself doing and not even realizing it. And then we have Stinger. We have Leo's Chance. Oh my goodness, my stuff is going to start falling here. And then, oh gosh, Leo, which is the first book that she's ever written, I believe. And this is the um, first counterpart to the Leo duet. So there's Leo and Leo's Chance. This one is the first. I'm going to try to not knock anything over. So we have Miss of the Serengeti by Layla Attar. Yeah, something's going to fall over. We have Boss Man by Vi Keeland, the fabulous Vi Keeland, you guys. Um, Penelope Ward and Vi Keeland have a book coming out next week. Super excited about that. And then we have Egomaniac, The Baller. This was my gateway novel to Vi Keeland. And then we're moving on to Penelope, I think. Yeah. Sins of Seven, 
And then some cocky bastards actually. Stuck up suit. Oh, graham cracker. I love graham crackers so much. So stuck up suit. No. Then we have Playboy Pilot. Oh, there they go. I knew this was going to happen. Gosh, you rearrange everything so perfectly and then it all just, oh, I can imagine what it'd be like if I just had to record this or edit it. It would be a hot mess. Okay. And then we have Mr. Money Bags. Okay, I'm going to try to do the rest of this without knocking anything over. Back to the Penelope novels. We have Room Hate. We have Jake Undone. And then that's all the Penelope Ward novels that I have on me. You've got to be shitting me right now. Okay, well, I guess i got to get more of them. We have anti Step Brother by Tijan Meyer. I really love this book. This was my first Tijan Meyer book, and it absolutely got me hooked onto her writing. I think she's really, really talented, really, um, really interesting and very individual, uh, unique stories. Um, they just, I don't know, they're really, really cool. And then we have Amy Harmon, The Bird and the Sword, one of my top favorite books, really, really great romance fantasy, and The Queen and the Cure, another one of my top favorite books of this year. I love fantasy novels, and I think Amy Harmon just does such a beautiful job. Okay, so moving on to the second shelf. Oh my goodness. Ugh, books everywhere. Not that that's a bad thing. So we have... Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades Darker, Fifty Shades Freed. I don't think I have to pull the books out for you guys to know what the cover looks like. Pretty sure that's some of the reason why we're all here today and why certain book channels, ahem, <laughs> mine, exist. Um, so we have Twisted Palace by Aaron Watt, the third book in the Royal series. We have Broken Prince. And then we have Paper Princess, The Destroyer of Worlds and of Souls. And yeah, this book put me through some, some kind of hell. And then we have A Love Letter to Whiskey by Candy Steiner. We have the Crossfire series. We have Bared to You, uh, Reflected in You, Entwined with You, and Captivated by You, all by Sylvia Day. Oh, and of course, One with You. I haven't read One with You. Um, I don't know if anybody else has, well, I'm sure other people have, but this was the final book in the series, but the problem was they, they were released Captivated by You and One With You were released so far apart from one another that I never actually got to reading this one because I felt like I would have to go back and read um, Captivated by You and then I figured I'd have to go back and read all of them just to remember everything that happened and I haven't gotten to do that yet. And then we have Ink and Lies by S.L. Jennings. I love S.L. Jennings. She has some of the best fantasy uh, and PNRs rather, not really fantasy, but PNRs. She writes some amazing PNRs. Then I have The Bronze Horseman by Polani, P Polani, Paulina Simmons or Simons. I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. I have not read this book yet, and I've got people on my back telling me to get my ass in gear and read it, but I just haven't yet. I've got Bully by Penelope Douglas. I actually think I have a review for that one hanging out on my computer. I'll have to see if I can find it. Then I have Pulse by Gail McHugh, Collide by Gail McHugh. And Beautiful Oblivion by Jamie McGuire. I have Walking Disaster by Jamie McGuire. Beautiful Disaster in Travis's perspective. And then, of course, Beautiful Disaster. And then A Beautiful Wedding. A Beautiful Funeral, which I actually haven't read yet. Ugh, stupid connection. Um, I haven't read this one yet. I just... I don't know. It made me sad that the series was going to end, so I have avoided reading it for that reason. And then we move on to the off-campus series by L. Kennedy, some of my absolute favorites. We have to start with The Deal. And I have all the abs covers, by the way, which I'm really happy that I made the move to buy all of the covers while they were still the abs covers because they're different. And the new covers are beautiful, but I really wanted all of these to match because I had three of them before the cover change was actually announced and I wanted to make sure that all of them matched because I'm neurotic like that. So here's the mistake. And then we have the score and then the goal. Okay, now moving on to this shelf, it gets a little wonky. So I'm actually not gonna be taking you guys down here because this is just a mishmash of stuff. So I'm not gonna pull everything out. Um, I have Stinger. 
I have For the Love of the Duke by Christy Caldwell. Um, I actually met her at a signing. She is so, so sweet, and um, she gave me this book. I haven't read it yet, but I want to. Um, and then I have the Thoughtless series, um, Thoughtless, Effortless, and Reckless by S.C. E. Stevens. Why did I have to think about that? The name is right there. And I am a lover of Neil Gaiman, uh, so I have Fragile Things. I'm also a lover of history, so I have this um, really, really great... Uh, what is going on with my phone? Um, this is a biography on Cleopatra. Absolutely have been addicted to Cleopatra and the history and lore of her since I was, I don't know, nine years old. So I have a lot of books on her. And then I have Neil Gaiman's Stardust. This book has been through some kind of hell. Um, I love Neil Gaiman. He writes a lot of fantasy. And I actually used to carry this in my backpack at school. And I got in trouble so many times because in between like assignments, I would actually pull this book out and read it and my teachers would yell at me. So this is just all the wear and tear from high school life and being crushed in my backpack. But I love this book so, so much. Didn't like the movie, but oh, this book is so special. And then we have Pieces of Love by PJ Sharon. This was also a book that was given to me um, at a signing. And then I've only been to one signing. <laughs> then I have um, Proposing to Preston by Katie Regnery. And like I said, this is mostly just a mishmash of things. So uh, if you guys notice here, <laughs> I told you I used to steal um, copies of uh, the Iliad and the Odyssey. So these are actually just high school copies that I ended up not giving away, <laughs> not giving back to the class. I was really, really bad, but I love these books. So I have the, the Odyssey and I also have just uh, Edith Hamilton mythology, um, then the Odyssey again. And this book, <laughs> The Light at the End of the Diaper Pail, I bought this when I was a new mom, when I first had my son, and my husband and I were desperate for some kind of uh, reprieve and some lightheartedness. <laughs> and then I have Pretty Good Years. This is a biography on Tori Amos. I have After Many a Summer Dies the Swan by Aldous Huxley. This is actually a first edition. Um, this was given to me as a gift. Love this book. I love Aldous Huxley. And then I have Piece by Piece by Tori Amos. Um, this is not a book. This is literally not a book. It's philosophical games and thought experiments to give your mind to work out. It was on the 99 cent bookshelf, I think, and it's actually kind of addictive once you get started it. Um, the Happiest Baby, given to me, again, during desperate times. The Iliad, another <laughs> copy of The Iliad, and another likely stolen from high school. Um, the Sayings of the Buddha, Exploring Meditation, Dreams, see, just a bunch of mishmash of things. And then down here, we have my arts and culture book. Um, this was actually a gift Alexandria Rediscovered. I told you I'm a big, big history lover. And then um, Druidry. I actually find Druidry pretty fascinating. Uh, the Prophet by Khalil, uh, Khalil Gibran. American God, Smoke and Mirrors. Um, these are just notebooks. And Hamlet that I think... I must have gotten this from high school because I don't remember ever buying this, but okay. And this was actually my mom's. My mom really loved V.C. Andrews. And uh, this is the exact book that she used to read all the time. And, uh, or I, that I found her reading all the time. So I kept it because it just, it reminds me of my mom. And then I have the memoirs of Cleopatra by Margaret George. Got this at a, uh, I think it was a book auction. And uh, it was like $2. The Ultimate Encyclopedia of Mythology, and just a couple of other books down here that really nobody's going to be interested in, like Marilyn Monroe things and Comic Book Tattoo from Tori Amos, and that's pretty much it for this shelf. And then we're going to be moving over onto that one. There's not much going on there either. So you guys can say hello to my Papa's on chair and my Kindle. Hello. Okay. Oh, this was from my son's first haircut. That was that was, a, that was an experience. It was traumatic for everybody. Nobody won. Okay. So here we have just a couple of little knickknacks that I actually got from another signing that I went to. Um, just some mints and a little, yeah. I think it's CT Romance Writing something. I can't remember what it was called, but it's a little signing. Really, really cute. Got to meet Katie Regnery, a couple of other really great authors. Okay. So we have Playing for Keeps by R.L. Mathewson. I'm going to see if I can do this without screwing up my bookshelf. Uh, we have Friction by L.D. Davis. And then my Rain Miller collection. We have Cherry Girl by Rain Miller. 
And then Priceless by Rain Miller. Eyes Wide Open, again by Rain Miller. Uh, the Passion of Darius, Rain Miller. Filthy Rich by Rain Miller. Uh, From Sand and Ash by Amy Harmon. I have not gotten the chance to read this completely yet. This was an arc that she sent me so, so generously. Um, I was so surprised when I found this in the mail, but I just didn't get to read it in time. I think it was um, during a time when I had a lot of um, arcs that I needed to get to, and I just couldn't get to this one in time. I was so upset, but I, I'm gonna, my endeavor is to um, finish reading this book and reviewing it because I love Amy Harmon. Okay, and then we have Angel Hands by Kate Reynolds. And then uh, Downcast. I think these are fantasies um, by Kate Reynolds. And then we have The Club by Lauren Rowe. Ball Peen Hammer by Lauren Rowe. Oh, Keeney, I miss you. I'm going to have to go back and reread you. And then The Reclamation by Lauren Rowe. Then we have the In Flight series, um, as well as Bad Things by R.K. Lilly. I love these books. So we have Bad Things. We have Rock Bottom. And I don't think, these are the old covers. These are not the new covers. We have Lovely Trigger. And then In Flight. This is one of the first gateway romance novels that I read. Uh, I thought these were so, so good. I think I read these back to back within like a week and a half. Then we have Mile High and Grounded. Okay, and then we have just, my mother-in-law painted this. This is a little uh, giant clothespin, and she painted some uh, little bookshelf on there. She's really, really talented. Um, I have no visual art talent whatsoever, but yeah, she made this for me. And we have one of my Kindles. I have three. <laughs> that's, that's bad. Okay, so we have A Stone in the Sea by A.L. Jackson. These are also mostly... The old covers, yeah, because these were revamped. And then we have Where Lightning Strikes. I freaking loved this book so, so much. I love A.L. Jackson. She also has another book coming out. We have Wait, Stay, No, Stand. Well, that was a Freudian slip. I said stay, and my books fell over. They did not stay. And I am missing Drowning to Breathe. I know I'm missing Drowning to Breathe. I have to get on top of that. And then we have The Vixen and the Vet by Katie Regnery. Never Let You Go by Katie Regnery. I love her modern fairy tale series. She's so talented. We have Ginger's Heart by Katie Regnery. This was my gateway novel by her. So, so good. And then, I think that's it for Katie Regnery. Oh, no, no, I have Dark Sexy Night by Katie Regnery. Um, the Gravity of Us by Brittany C. Cherry. I discovered her this year and how brilliant she is. Yeah, I'm definitely addicted to her books now that I've read that. And that's pretty much it for the romance novels. I've got uh, My Side of the Mountain by Jean Craighead George. Um, this was a gift from one of my best friends in the world. Shout out to Craig if you ever watch my videos. I doubt that you do. But he sent this to me for my birthday and I haven't gotten to read it yet. But I promise I will. I'm still trying to get through Game of Thrones. We're doing a buddy read. I have the master list for writers, just as a quick reference. I have the teachings of the Compassionate Buddha. And then I have uh, Astrophysics for People in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Tyson. Am I the only one here who loves Neil deGrasse Tyson? I just, I completely adore him. I think he's brilliant. <laughs> and then down here, uh, there are no romance novels. I have a piano calculator. Um... A little cat uh, figurine. This was actually given to me by my mother-in-law in memory of my first cat, Miko, who passed away a few years ago. I've had him, I'd had him since I was seven, and he was 16 when he died, but she gave that to me to remember him. Then I have Love Between the Lines. Um, this is an adult color coloring book for book lovers, and this has so many great ones. I mean, as you can see, here are the authors. Colleen Hoover, Desmia Sheridan, Tara Civic, S.L. Jennings, um, some really, really great names, and they're just really, really fun. I'll actually show you some. I don't think I've actually colored in anything, but yeah, <laughs> I think it's so cute. And then I have an audiobook by Mia Sheridan. This is for Midnight Lily that I actually, I think I won that in a giveaway. And these are my husband's books, so I highly doubt that you guys are going to be interested in seeing those. Because, oh look, we have a copy of It. I will not be reading that. Okay. 
All right, so I'm going to flip you guys back on over. I don't think I have anybody watching right now either. Okay, guys, so that concludes the bookshelf tour. Again, I'm really sorry that it's not very polished, I mean, at all. Um, but when I went live last time, and it was actually the first time that I went live, um, a lot of people seem to have been on board with a live bookshelf tour. I really tried very hard for about two hours today to actually get my, um, my camera to cooperate with me, but it just would go dead and then the memory would run low and it would be like trying to segment, I don't know, four or five different videos all at once, not including all the editing in between, like my rambling and all that stuff. But I'm going to look into getting a new camera so that I can do more stuff like that for you guys and maybe make a new bookshelf tour in the far future when I have even more books because I don't have all that many. Again, they're all very special and I love all of them, but uh, I don't have too, too many. But hopefully you guys really enjoyed this. <laughs> Again, I apologize for the lack of editing and the fact that it was sort of um, on the fly, but I really wanted to get this out for you guys. You guys have waited long enough. This was, without a doubt, the most highly requested video that I've gotten, and I just felt bad for dragging it out and not giving it to you guys. So I figured I would give you guys a bookshelf tour in the best way that I possibly could and the most efficient way that I possibly could, and it just happened to be in a live bookshelf tour. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you are not already to see smart videos from me, and I will see you guys later. Bye!